We are at the Star Center in Dania Beach, Florida, where we are doing training with the bridge team on Oasis of the Seas. And we are actually sitting in one of the smaller bridge simulators at the center here. And we are actually looking over on the uh, digital version of Oasis of the Seas behind us. Star Center is a place where mariners can come for advanced training, advanced officers training both deck and engine. We try to cover a topic in the classroom, we have a lecture, and then we go to the simulator to have the practical end of it. We can actually have exercises between the two bridges and also between the bridges and the engine rooms. This is the control room where we actually handle all of the weather, the traffic, the communications with the traffic that goes on with the ship that the people are operating up on the simulator bridge. We can create just about anything. We can have winds from zero flat calm, zero current, all the way up to 70 knots and even more, and seas up to 10 meters high. And the models are made so that they react very closely to how the ship will react. It's exactly similar to the extent that even the landscape features, buildings are modeled with a high degree of accuracy. Uh, but it's not just the surrounding landscape, it's, it's the water that's the most important. So the, the depths of the water, the soundings as we call them, the shoals, uh, shallows, deep water, uh, currents are modeled here that are exactly the currents that you would expect to experience in a particular port. If you're going to train people to increase their proficiency, the whole purpose of it is to simulate reality. It's not to simulate a video game, because if you get into playing it like a video game, then you don't accept it as reality up there on the bridge. It's here at the Star Center in the, in the main mission simulator that we're actually able to test that and make sure that the ship is behaving as designed and as expected. We've had some ideas that maybe one of the things we could do... Is the that thing that happens dock, here is that if you're on a simulator uh, and you make a mistake, nine, you don't have to go into a court of inquiry or write a report. You just press the reset button and you start again. It helps a lot and also it refreshes us. In, in, in different situations. It's like we, we're on a time machine. We can be in Italy in the morning, we can be in England in the afternoon, and when we go to lunch, we walk out and we're back in Dania Beach.